What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, caps beside you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Excuse me. Free general reading. So the channel I received was... Um, an Aries is about to start fighting for full custody, some of one child, some of several children. Um, I heard biological. It's going to really piss off the other partner, um, previous partner, in a huge way. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Uh, whoever you are, Aries, um, you could have Aries in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts. Um, you could have some of you guys, it sounds like you're fighting for about to, well, it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to. About to fight for custody of one child, her biological child. So it's, I'm assuming your biological child, for some, two plus biological children of yours. And for some, it's a grandchild. And for some, it's a grandchild. Okay, so for some of you guys, it's one of your biological children. For some, two plus your biological children. For some, it is a grandchild. So you have to plug in your life, how it resonates. I heard it's going to piss off the previous um, partner. So, um, whether, you know, if you're the grandparent, the partner, um, I guess the one that has custody right now, it's going to piss off, or your previous partner, um, whether it was a third party, situationship, spouse, um, et cetera, et cetera, it's going to piss them off. Um, but I heard you're about to, um, you're about to um, fight for custody. Um well, you, hopefully you have good intentions. Hopefully you have good intentions and your heart's in the right place and you really intend on providing good, stable, reliable household for the child or children. Um, whoever you are, Aries, we have release reverse number 27 could be very significant number in your life, number 27. You know they want to hold on to primary custody some full custody because of money. For some, it's about to hugely backfire. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. I heard you know they want to hold on. Some, they have primary custody, so full, like full rights, it sounds like. Some, um, uh, um, primary custody. Some, I feel they have full rights, like full, full rights. Some, I feel they have primary and then visitation. You have visitation, if that makes sense. However, that plugs in. Um, but however that resonates, I heard you know they want to um, hold on to them for money. Meaning they probably get to, it's probably stated in their legal paperwork, they can claim them on taxes either every year or every other year, or they, um, or they're making money off the child or children in some shape, form, or fashion. You know about this. and um, Or they want the child support. Or they want some other kind of money that's coming in regarding a child or children. How that resonates. You are highly intuitive and you know this. Whether you're a grandparent of the child or children or you're a biological parent. Uh, but I heard it's about to backfire in some of these cases. So in some of these cases, it sounds like you're going to be successful and some you're not. Release reverse, they do not want to release control um, because they are financially gaining in some shape, form, or fashion from the child or children. Oh, did I say number 27 is very significant? Number 27, that could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible social security card number, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, um, possible jersey number, number 27. Spirit messages you have for their collective. Hard take them. We have power upright, wisdom upright, nourishment upright. Number 16, 22, or 7 could be very significant numbers as well. 16 or 7 could be a possible age of a child. Your child or somebody you're connected to is child. Um, number 22 could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. It also could be possible date of birth numbers, lottery numbers, social security card numbers, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 16, 22, or 7. Power. For some, these children are in very dangerous situations, and you know this.
Okay, I heard for some of these children are in very dangerous situations and you know this. So you want to, um, so it sounds whoever this is for, it sounds like you're, or at least some of you guys, it sounds like your heart's in the right place. So um, you want power, i.e. custody, it sounds like primary custody, or at least joint, um, however that resonates. Um, I, if they're in dangerous situations, I hope you get primary. I'm just saying, just saying, like, all rights, because if they're in a dangerous situation, you deserve all rights. But of course, I'm not a judge. Uh, that's my opinion, but um, that would make logical sense, just saying. But you want, you want power. You want custody, basically, because you know it would be in the best interest of the child or children. Um, whoever you are, I feel your heart's in the right place for at least some of these situations. Wisdom upright. One of you is about to learn very, very, very important information that's going to help you move this case forward soon. Okay, I heard one of you is going to learn very important uh, information that's going to help you move this case forward soon. So we have wisdom upright. Wisdom is the knowledge, the information that's going to help you move the case forward soon. Whoever you are, whether you're the grandparent or a biological parent. Nourishment upright. You know you can give the child a better life. Some of these cases will be very successful. Okay, I heard you know you can give the child a better life, and some of these cases uh, will be very successful. So it sounds like some of you guys are going to be very successful in this, um, and you know you can give the child a better life. You can nourish them. You can grow them. You can manifest them. You can... Um, provide necessary things for them to help them learn and grow and um, be a productive member of society. Um, treat others with respect, integrity, dignity, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, absolutely, absolutely. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't, I didn't. All right, you guys. Well, this is a pretty good one. It's a pretty good one. Um, congrats, whoever this is for. It sounds, it sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to. Whoever you are and however you plug in this life, um, in this, not this life, in this situation, you have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do fit. Um, just saying, just saying. Um, everybody's on different time of life paths. So if the story is not for you, it's not for you. Um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. All right, love you guys. Namaste.